Welcome back children. Now it's time to look at some of the rules. Now that you are aware of the sounds that vowels and consonants put together make and now that you've started reading also three words and four words, now look at some of the rules. When you know these rules, you will always, it's kind of an index for you. You always come to your, uh, think in your mind and think, okay, so this is the rule. So if for this rule, this is the sound that gets produced or these are the, we call in English exceptions means whatever we have learnt, there are some exceptions, meaning that rule doesn't apply. So let's look at some of the rules of phonics and it's interesting, few of these I have already told you, it would be a recap again, but if you remember all these rules, it will be easier for you to start reading. Now do, you don't have to read this, I will read it to, to you and I will make you understand. When the video is done, again try to read on your own, but for now, I am going to read it for you. When a one syllable word ends in a consonant, when a one syllable word ends with a consonant and has only one vowel, that vowel is short. Meaning, when there is a one syllable word, this is a one syllable, okay, mat, cat, okay, these are one, meaning uh, the word itself is one. You will not break it and read. You cannot say ma and then t. Ma and t do not form any syllable. Mat is a syllable, one whole word, okay. So mat, red, fish. So what it says is, these are all small words, one syllable words. Ends in a consonant and all these words are, so mat, all right, uh, red, okay, fish. or sock and rug. These are the examples that I have given. And these are all one syllable, means these have to be uttered at one go. Fish, you cannot say fish. Fi sh for, for reading you can say, for uh, listening to the sound, but fi and sh do not make any meaningful word if pronounced all alone. Okay, so it's a one syllable. Syllable means that's the breaking of the word. You cannot break these words. You can break and read, but the meaning will be different, okay? Now, when a one syllable word ends in a consonant, these are all one syllable word, they are ending with a consonant, okay? All these are consonants. Then what happens? That vowel is short, okay? So when a one syllable word, small words, end with a consonant like mat, fish, fat, rat, cat, the sound of the vowel will be short always, will be always short, okay? The vowel sound will be always short when these words end with a consonant and these are one syllable word. Coming to the second one, when a one syllable word, when a syllable ends in a silent E, when a syllable ends in a silent E, the vowel that comes before the silent E is long. When a syllable ends with a, in a silent E, like in the case of lake, okay, look at this word, lake, all right. Then there is an example that I have given, J, let me take kite, okay. These are again one syllable words, rope. and use. Okay, these are the examples that I have taken. When a syllable ends in a silent E, these are all silent E. Okay, when a syllable ends with a silent E, the sound of the vowel would be long. We cannot say lack, we will say lake because you see an end E there, E. Kite, we will not say kit, we will say kite because there is an E at the end. Rope use, rope, okay? So there is an E at the end. So when you see at the E at the end, you will realize now the, sign, uh, the sound of the vowel has to be the long sound. Unlike here, there is no E. It has ended with a consonant. So the sound is always the short sound. A, A, E. All right. Okay. Now, 
this was the first one this was the second one now let's look at the third one the third one says when w is before r the r says r this is so interesting otherwise the sound of r i had said no or fork or or the sound is or 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 all right now when this w comes in before these o r the sound will not be or or the sound will be r okay this is so interesting like w o r k all right then the sound will be r we will not say work we will say work because there is a w there okay w o r d we will not say word we will say word we will not say word word we will say word okay however there is an exception here s w o r d though there is a w here this will be pronounced as sword o o okay q u are always together q and u are always together queen quiet quip always you will find q and u together so these are the three rules that we saw let's move on and see what are the rules this we have seen when g is followed by e i or y it usually has the soft sound of g like gem okay gel all right gem so this is followed by g is followed by e y or i gift no not this one sorry this is the soft sound of g g g i l chill okay so when you have g which is followed by e i or y then the sound that comes is the soft sound of g and we've seen this there were so many other words that i had shown you same is the case with c and we've seen this when c is followed by i e or y the soft sound of c that is city celery scent signet so you see there is an e here there is an e here there is an y here there is an i there so the soft sound of c gets produced okay so this rule you knew c and j g rules you know coming to the sixth one spelling with a c or a k so when when you have an a c or a k if it is followed by an i if it is followed by an i so a c or a k has i e or y spell with a k so kid kettle all right key so k has i e or y we will have to spell it like k kid kettle key all right we have to we have to pronounce it as key k kid kettle key seventh one when two consonants join together and form one new sound they are called consonant digraphs this also we have seen c h s h t h p h w h these are consonants which have, which have come together and what kind of sounds do they make they make sounds like c h is ch s h is sh t h is th or the p h is f w h is w okay these are the sounds they produce next one is when a syllable has two vowels together the first vowel is usually long and the second is silent and we have seen this also so r a i n 
okay so two vowels are together but a i when two vowels are together the first one sound is heard a okay a and uh, we have a song which says that when two vowels go walking the first one does the talking second one is silent so i will be silent meet meet okay so you see the first one will do the talking mostly all right no diphthongs don't follow this rule so there are certain diphthongs we call them they don't follow this rule of a and e or any vowel when they are together the first one making the long sound then when a syllable ends in a vowel and is the only vowel that vowel is usually long like l a a ter later later so a is so this is a syllable here later is a word later okay we break it there is no vowel after this a so the sound will be the long sound of a okay all right then coming to the next one silent e in a word that ends with a silent e the vowel will usually make its long sound and we've seen this when the e is silent we're not saying code e code okay road all these words that you see here the e is silent so the vowel will make the long sound code o o okay mark out the e macron the word vowel and read example make dime road mule all these have e at the end all these have e at the end but the sound that we will get will get produced is the long sound of these vowels i o u a okay <laughs> so can you now read these two words okay how do you read this word it's a big word that i've written written here ten shin a ten shin and po dm so this is how you should try reading i've written a very big word here but that's how you should actually start reading break the words read it you know the sounds try to read it when you do that that will help you uh, retain those words in your mind it's it's going to do a lot of things one is you actually become a reader you start reading second is when you read it out and write you retain it and then when you read these words and write these words always try to find the meaning so that is how you gain more knowledge and your vocabulary increases so with one thing you are attaining three benefits so keep reading look back at all the things that have that has been taught to you this is just one level it's just kind of you've touched waters when it comes to reading but with practice you can do that there are several other things in phonics that can be uh, done but f looking at your age and looking at whatever you can learn and retain this is what we have designed for you so keep reading take take time read and practice practice as much as you can take help from your parents your older brothers and sisters and your teacher and then you will see in no time you will start reading big books so with that note thank you very much